Well, hello everyone, and welcome back to Side Quest and the tallest Enerlando we've ever seen. That might not actually be true. I don't, I can't think of another one that's taller than this at the moment, but we've had quite a few. And multiple even kind of at high elevation, so who can say? I have, as you can see, decided to try out this new Midra sword. I went ahead and made the choice to give that a try. Might not have been the right choice, because honestly, even fully leveled up, I'm noticing that the scaling on this is not great. <laughs> Certainly not compared to some of the other big weapons and great swords, definitely, that we have at our disposal. The special ability, though, seems great for like a single target, kaboom, stab type thing, and I'm excited to see it. But we may end up swapping back to previous things pretty quick. Good news, we do have enough of these to get bumped up, and that's nice. Very good. Still feel like I'm missing some of these, and maybe we'll find them around town. There has been a lot of town, and a lot of town that I feel like I have missed along the way. Um, hey, here's a place to test out a skill. Hello! Oh. Kinda thought that might, like, pin you or something. Damage wasn't terrible, but, um, for a single target... Yeah, I don't, I don't know if we're gonna keep using this one for long, but that's okay. I do need to go further up to try to get a lot of the runes back. But then I do feel like I kind of need to double back and do, like, maybe a second sweep through these areas. Because there's just so much everything here. Ow. Yeah, you'd really hope that a great sword, special move, single target attack... would one-shot a fool like that, but, uh... Hello. I'm good, thank you. It's not bad, it's just... It's only doing a little more damage than... Milady per strike, I feel like, and Milady hits come out so much faster. Ew. It's doing alright, though. Yeah. This bird is trying to make rune finding not be a concern. I still feel like I'd like them, though. Drink, quick. Down you go. Okay. I didn't get that far before dropping runes on the ground to... Ice Beast. And I don't love my chances with this sword, but... I've also got the hammer on backup. That'll probably be a good one to switch to. Why don't we go ahead and do that? Because this one was no joke. A lot of ice. Have some of this. Ouch. That's not too bad. Also not terrible. Hmm. That ice tornado, rough. Come on. Come on. Rolled a little early there. Do you mind? Eh. Whew. 
I'm actually quite curious to see how Fire Hand Sword here will do. Because this sword's only gotten more effective. The more I have leaned into this hybrid strength faith build, the better this sword has gotten. And honestly, like, looking back through my gear, uh, several of the weapons that I had previously that were already good are only better now that faith is also a high stat for me. Like, this one, definitely. Uh... Also, Malakath's Black Blade also scales quite a lot with Faith, so... Swing for swing, like, it's gonna hit harder than my big Meteoric or Greatsword. Its skill may be a little more unwieldy and not good at d closing distance the same way, but it hits harder. So it might be worth revisiting that one for a bit, a little later. Could be fun. Also, Merica's Hammer here probably also do a little better. Not so much better that I imagine I'm gonna shift to it, but, you know. Anyway, let's see how this does. It's a favorable type matchup, if nothing else. Enjoy! Wow, that does hit hard. That blizzard is rough, though. Enjoy this. And then, kaboom! Yeah, okay, that's fine. And then, you're done! There we go, that's better. Still a very, very good sword. And now runes are recovered. That punk will respawn, sadly, but is new. Use FP to continuously heal nearby allies. A spirit gravestone blessed with an Erd tree incantation. Uses FP to generate sun warmth, continuously restoring the HP of those nearby. Has a more potent effect than a warming stone. Sunlight feels all the warmer in darkened lands. Yeah, I feel like I need to I need to double back. There's been so many branching paths and routes to go, and I probably actually have seen most of them, but I I don't believe for a second that I have found and seen all. Nah. Not possible. Why don't I do just a little mini inter-dungeon backtrack here, and I'll let you know if I spot anything particularly new or interesting. And if not, then, well, we'll be right back here. Let's go! Ooh, I could jump. I could jump. And probably should. So, th th we're under the big stairway up. The first kind of divine beast warrior dude is still over there. I've not gone to fight them again. Uh, this was this little compartment kind of under the stairway. This little hideaway treasury thing. I had not noticed this place to jump down. And there's a shiny there, so I've clearly not been. Whee! Oh boy. Almost overshot. Now that wasn't much of anything, but... Where have I wound up? Okay. Place to drop down there. And it's my only option, seems like, so... Goodness, another shiny down there. Couple of them. Several.
Lots of very dangerous exploration ahead. Hooray! Can I... I don't know if I can jump on this from here. Hmm. Oh, wait, here we go, here we go. Scary, but manageable. I really hope there's more than just a few liver items that I barely ever use for my trouble. Cameron. Eh, sure, I'll take it. Careful. Yeah, okay, this is fine. I'm okay with this. There's got to be a pretty good treasure at the end of this. It's very out of the way feeling. And high risk. Mm, careful, careful. All right, that feels like a dead end. I think we're going down here. And there is a possibility we've been here. Hello. I do see a shiny, though, so maybe not. Sure. Okay. Where is this leading? Oh, that's scary. Okay, that's a scary jump. That's a scary jump. Scared about that jump. Am I able to, like, continue a run after dropping down there? Okay, I think I am. Okay. Okay. Aim and jump! Oh. Oh. <laughs> you know, if I actually think about it, it makes sense winding up here again if I just keep jumping down. Um, hi. Unacceptable. It's a part of it I've never been before, though. Love that. Hey, now there is a worthwhile prize. No complaints about that. And an elevator. Interesting. Okay. I have a feeling this might be the last week of the series. I feel like we're coming up on the end here. I mean, unless we get to the top of the castle and then we find some sort of teleporter or something and then the game says all right here's the other half of the world map have fun <laughs> but it's already been quite a lot of map and world so seems unlikely this feels like a good length too like if this is the last dungeon and then there's just kind of a run of a few bosses at the end of it that's going to feel like a really great, satisfying length for this. Longer than I expected it to be, but not overstaying its welcome in any way. This has all been some top tier. Some top tier Elden Ring. Still don't know exactly where I am, for sure. 
I think I've been in this part, though. I feel like I remember this room. Then again, a lot of the rooms look similar and have similar dudes. There we go. Are you one of the elemental ones? I think you are. Alright. Two hits. And a big one, and then... Yeah, okay. Have some of that. Have another. You're done. This is the trick. Where am I? A part of Bellarat, I'm not sure I remember. Maybe there's another shortcut that I never found a way to open. Yo! Or the way to another item I never found. Hello! And what looks like a kind of shrine. Euporia. Ooh. A twin blade symbolizing abundance, the secret treasure of the tower. Though the blades, fashioned from golden shoots, are largely wilted and darkened, their luster can be restored by dealing damage to foes. However, damage dealt to those who live in death will have no such effect. Euporia Vortex. Using the power of the vortex, violently twirl the armament, dealing multiple slashes directly ahead. The greater the restored luster of the blades, the greater the power of this skill. However, use of this skill will fully consume the blade's luster. That's real interesting. A weapon that charges up in potency. So long as you're not attacking those who live in death. Very faith. It seems like it seems kind of similar, if I had to predict how the scaling is gonna go, similar to this great sort of damnation. Like faith is a prominent one, and then otherwise it's strength and dexterity kind of quality. It's one of the few twin blades that might be worth investigating for me, though. And it's cool and unique, so. That might happen. We might we might do some of that later. Glad I went a looking. Very cool. Okay, well, I'll start doubling back a bit because there is at least one other elevator I've not investigated. I'll let you know if I find anything cool. All right, I think there was another smaller elevator over here, which might take me back kind of up to where I was, maybe. Maybe. It's also worth mentioning, like, I love that what appears to be the final legacy dungeon of this expansion is effectively the top floor of the first legacy dungeon of the expansion. That feels very cool. Like, you can do half of it, kind of the base level of it, at first, but it's not till near the end that you get access to the real good stuff up top. Good and dangerous. Okay, I think, I think I am familiar with this general area. I'll get attacked over there. Yeah, okay. I'll keep poking around, see if there's anything else cool I missed. Okay. There probably, in fact, certainly is more that I have missed along the way up. Hopefully nothing too major. But I am feeling at least a little more comfortable with my level of thoroughness now. Having found that goodie, and this one especially. That'll help. 
as long as we're here too, like we know, we know that this sword will always work for us. I am actually now quite curious how much better Malakath's Black Blade might do for me. And given this thing's weight, I doubt there's anything else that I could equip at the same time. Anything else that would be of any use to me whatsoever. Yeah. Don't think so. Just about nothing that I've gotten leveled up to any... Yeah, no, we're fine. Let's see how this one treats us. And continue to ascend. That's better. 3,200 just for one heavy attack. Pretty satisfying. As a big hit. Nope. Come on, both of you. Can't believe one of those managed to hit me. Kaboom! It's got fun AoE appeal. Even if it's very easy to get... knocked around by a few hits. Leaves me a bit vulnerable. Fun to do, though. There is a shiny on that little bridge down there. I don't know how to get there yet. Oh, it's actually quite obvious now that I um, think about it. Anyway... That's suspicious. It's very suspicious. Having a bunch of shinies just laying out in the open in a dark room is sketchy. Horned warrior ashes. Huh. This heavily armored guardian spirit of the tower attained inhuman strength through divine invocation and wields a curved great sword that brings horns to bear on its foes. In the tower, these warriors and their weapons both are spiritual vessels. Cool. That one's pretty strong, I bet. I feel like we're getting a lot of very strong spirit ash allies in this DLC. Hello. Where is this? I am turned around now. Um. Oh, okay, okay, okay. This is... No, wait. Oh, right, yes. Here we go. Here's our Frost Warrior. Who we might kind of be able to get the jump on and might even be able to throw... I don't know how easily they can hit me from there. I might be able to be a little cheesier about it. I like this plan. Don't know how many of these are going to hit. Okay, the range could be a little better. Range could be a little better. Come on, come closer. Rats. This has worked out exactly not how you want. I was going to say the poise on this one 
It worked out. Despite everything. Whew. One could jump down there. But should one? Probably not. But will one? Probably. Yeah, still, still nothing there. Okay. This is doable. Although I think it's just gonna take. Yeah, it's just gonna take me right back down here. Yeah. Yeah, that's where I was. The ladder's just on the other side of that. That's where I came from. Okay. Okay. We good. This feels like... Yeah, it feels like where I first left the stairway, but it's not. It's further up. Because, yeah, the stairs were broken, and now I'm up here. Okay. Upward we go. Hello. Big hit. Woo. The moves on this guy. Elevator. But also... Even further up. Elevator first, I suppose. Shortcuts are good. Especially when they yield even more items. So wait, wh where is this... Where is this connecting to? Someplace I've not been. Well, dang. Stop it. Yipes. That got a little close. Whew. That got a little close twice. Closer than I'd have preferred. Good shiny, though. Nice. If we are nearing the end, I guess it's probably time to start making some calls on which weapons to bump all the way up to plus 10. Or plus 25, as the case may be. I do feel like I have settled on... a few favorites. Could jump up here. And maybe should. Hmm. Where is this? Oh. Uh, maybe that's how we're getting back down safely after we grab that. Okay, okay. Nowhere to drop safely down there, right? It's kind of like a bookcase. I don't... I feel like I want to see a shiny that I could only reach by doing that before I chance it. Yeah, I think I'd prefer not. A 
Well, let's see about getting this one, though. Yep. Perfect. Gravebird helm. That's cool. Stone helm with a tinge of green. One of a set of armor pieces cast in the image of the Gravebird. Empowers spells with summon rings of spectral light. Really? That's very good for me. Gravebirds are ancient golems created to guard the spirit graves built where all manners of death ultimately drift. Yeah, I mean, this seems like a hat for me. Probably a little heavy, but, um... It's the frisbee helm, so... We have no choice. Oh, it's lighter, even. Awesome. A little goofy, perhaps, but... It improves the power of Frisbee. What do you want? Honestly, dropping straight down might be safest. Feel safer than trying that jump. Yeah. Yeah, no, missing that jump seems like that could go... extra bad. This is better. Back up we go. And we proceed. I feel like there's got to be a grace fire before long. Kind of surprised there's not one right here. I wanted to check the view, but clouds. That makes sense. Summon. I can summon. Worrying. I think I will summon. Whatever's going on here, I've got a lot of runes on me and I don't want to chance it. Goodness. Yeah, this wind one is not playing around. Ow. Ah, hooey! Help. T save me. Oh boy. Ah, the roll timing was so poor. Ah, dang. Bad luck on that one. A lot of runes lost, but so it goes. Yeah, I kind of wish these dudes didn't respawn. They're each a bit of a mini-boss in their own right. Don't know if that range on that is going to work. It's like having to fight your way through multiple Crucible Knights. And those dudes don't respawn. Die. Thank you. Yeah, it seems like these dudes should just stay dead. But, we are nearing what is probably the end of near end game DLC, so tends to be when the difficulty starts spiking a bit. And there's got to be a grace fire just on the other side of this.
Definitely bringing in help, though, because goodness. This one's no pushover. Well, we've got our... Frisbee hat on. Let's see how spells do. I wonder if these block these. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Neither does shields. Frisbee! It ain't terrible, honestly. Goodness. Go away. You're too strong. Thanks for that, though. Horned Warrior's Greatsword. Tell me of this. Curved Greatsword of the Horned Warriors, Keepers of the Tower. A heavy weapon made to bring the deft strength of the warriors to bear. The ornamental tangled horns allow the blade to serve as a medium for horn calling. Horn calling storm. Invoke tangled horns to cover the weapon's blade. Call a storm into the horns, then mow through enemies. Additional inputs allow for up to two follow-up attacks. These seem very cool as well. So like, I mean, it's strength, dex, and faith for a lot. Like a little bit more strength on the requirements, but real hard to tell how the, uh, <laughs> hard to tell how the scaling on these is going to look. Could be worth checking, though. Feels like we're starting to get close-ish to the top. We're at least making a lot of progress. Boy, it's pretty here. And that is what I want to see. Boss fight ahead, huh? Seems like a problem for tomorrow. Yes, thank you. Yes, I choose to put this off until tomorrow. That is the answer. Boy, what a good dungeon. Okay, y'all. Have yourselves a good one, and tomorrow we see what sort of problems I am in for. Have a good one. And goodbye. Goodbye.